as our high school career comes to an end, it's amazing to think about how much the world has changed. We have seen wars and revolutions, a government shutdown, the rise and fall of several world leaders, the symbolic building of one World Trade Center, shootings and bombings, and natural disasters of epic proportions. National security and our country's role in world politics remain issues that require a great deal of our government resources. We have seen a great deal of unrest in the world. As citizens, many of us keep a careful watch on all that goes on around us. We have seen the vast army of the North Koreans march with an eerie force. We have seen Syrian children choking on their last breath after their government unleashed chemical attacks. We watched our president sanction Russia as they strong arm their neighbors. And close to home, we held our breath as the 118th Boston Marathon runners took back their finish line. In moments like this, we are proud to call ourselves Americans when we come together after tragic events and create comfort for one another. As a nation, we feel a sense of security when a heartbreaking crisis happens because we know we can depend on our fathers and our mothers, our brothers and sisters, our friends and neighbors, or soldiers. We felt defended and protected when the military forces worked day in and day out to find the Boston bomber. And we feel proud when we can call upon our forces to help pick up the pieces when Mother Nature strikes again. Our military has a long and honored tradition of serving with duty and sacrifice to protect the fundamentals of America. The future warriors of King Philip High School will carry on this honored tradition with the dignity and exceptionalism that is becoming a member of one of the five United States military services. After we throw our cap and unzip our gowns, the brave individuals of our Tri-Town will be buttoning up their blues and strapping on their camo. As they prepare to stand for our country, let us stand for them to let them know how proud we are of their decision to serve our country.